What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna show you guys how to check your cabin air filter and how to replace it if you need to. Coming up. What's going on guys? It's your boy Ryan. For those of you who don't know me, it's Ryan, so welcome aboard. And for those of you who have been following me for some time, thank you so much for following the channel and being supportive as you guys are. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. love each and every one of y'all. And for that being said, I hope you guys can hit the like button on this video to help boost it in the YouTube algorithm to help this channel grow as it should. And if you're not a subscriber, guys, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It'll definitely help me out in the long run. I want to build a tight-knit community between all of us so we can always have positive support on this platform. Now, let us jump right into this video. So on this specific application, we are going to be looking at a 2018 Toyota RAV4. A lot of other vehicles is pretty much similar. Some vehicles don't have cabin air filters. Some vehicles do. Um, my Avalanche does not have a cabin air filter. A lot of other Avalanches do. This um, 2018, a lot of cabin air filters are underneath inside the glove box. So I'm gonna show you where it is. Some are in the cowl, some are in the glove box, some are somewhere in the engine bay. Um, but let me just show you exactly how to access this one. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that you wanna do is drop the glove box down. Let it be open. That's the first thing that you wanna do. Guys, the very next step is push this little tab out the way, which is the slow release for the um, the glove box so it doesn't drop all the way down hard. Um, what you want to do is squeeze both sides of the glove box in and that's going to cause it to be released. So what we want to do is squeeze it in between and drop it down. Sometimes it gets let go, that's fine. Now that it's out, right in here there is the cabin air filter. Let's see if I can get some light to show you guys. So right in here is the cabin air filter. So what you want to do is pop the little side tab and remove it and this plate will come off. When that plate comes off, the filter is right in here. Now, as you can see, look at all this dirt in here. So the filter is still generally good. So guys, as you can see, we removed the cabin air filter. It is good. It's not that bad. Um, there's some dirt in it. We can just knock it out and get rid of all the the dirt and the grime as you can see everything's fallen out this is the stuff that you're breathing in you want to replace this this is what can give you asthma this is what can give you little allergies in the car this filter protects you not a lot of people replace these not a lot of people know these things even exist check your vehicle guys dust it out if you need to put it back in let it catch some more dirt or just throw it out and replace it now this one could be out the door Usually my rule of thumb is if you can hold it up to the light and you can see through the filter, it's still okay. It's not as clogged. Um, what you can do, like I said, is just... Okay, well, that wasn't supposed to happen, guys. So we definitely do need a new one. Um, so we're just going to leave that filter there for now. But... To install the new one, you would just do it in the reversal way, which for this sake's purpose, I'm going to show you how to install it. If we pretend that this was a new one, this was not supposed to happen. Um, but generally you want to dust it out. I don't know why that happened, but let me just pretend this is a new one. So guys, for pretend purposes only, this is a new one. You want to make sure that it is facing up. So you look for the arrow that says up. It says up right here. You insert it all the way back in. Boom. And then you just go in reverse order. Shove it back in. And reinstall the glove box as you got it. You pop in your glove box. Make sure that clicked in. And then what you want to do is push the side tab put it back in so it can slow release again and that is it but for the purpose of this video I just showed you how to reinstall it but I have to re-pull it out so I can remember to get a new cabin filter because of course I'm I broke it so right guys so there you go I, I broke it it we need a new one that wasn't supposed to happen and that's what happens in life good thing we can repair it and fix it so whatever Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, this was not supposed to happen, but maybe we can use it as a quick fan, a little, <coughs> a little dusty fan. Okay, this is garbage. We're gonna get rid of that. Um, so I will make sure that I get a new one and install it. Um, sorry guys, it didn't go the way we planned, 
But um, the importance of that, like I said, in all seriousness, that does catch the dust, the dirt, whatever it is that's coming in from outside to come into your vents. Whether you put on the air conditioning, the heat, it doesn't matter. That catches all the stuff. Now, if you don't change that, it gets clogged. You're going to start breathing in a lot of stuff. You're going to sneeze. Sometimes you may even smell something disgusting. That's because that's clogged. It's dirty. They sell ones with refreshener in it. When you put it in, the vehicle smells fresh. Um, you're going to notice also that your AC or your heat blows a lot better um, when this is removed. Most likely, uh, most of the times, uh, it's better airflow in the cabin because there's no long, it's no longer clogged. You get what I'm saying? So the f everything is just flowing out better. Um, so definitely look at your filter and replace it if need be. Now with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick episode. Like it wasn't supposed to break, but things happen. So um, with that being said, guys, please make sure you hit that like button for this video if you did like it. So the YouTube algorithm can, you know, put me in favor. There's dust all over me. And all over the air, too. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time for the new video. Peace out, guys. Love you all. <laughs>